Have you ever been asked this question? Describe yourself or describe someone you know. Of course you've been asked this question before because this is one of the most questions that were asked in English classes and even in speaking tests. So today I'm going to give you 20 adjectives you must learn to describe a personality. But before we start, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications button. So let's start with the first adjective of the day. Ambitious. This adjective I really like and love. It means that you want to be in a very special place, high up. So you have dreams. So for example, I can say, Ahmed is a very ambitious student. He wants to study in Oxford University. So ambitious means you have big dreams. The next word is humorous or funny, which obviously from the word funny you'd understand what humorous is. It has the same meaning. So I could say, Sam is a humorous guy. He always makes us laugh. Mohammed is a funny person. He always tells us jokes. So humorous and funny are the same meaning. The next adjective, hard working. Hard working means a person who works really hard all the time. So I could say, Suleiman is a hard working businessman. He works 12 hours a day. Our next adjective is friendly. Friendly. Friendly means someone who always makes friends, a very nice person, and everyone finds him as a good friend. So I could say, Ali is a friendly guy. Everyone in our class likes him. Outgoing or social. It means a person who is out there. He speaks with so many people and has so many friends. Means that the person is social, so we could say, Sam is a social person. He has more than 1,000 friends on Facebook. Nervous. Nervous means that you're a type of person who is easily gets angry. So I could say, Jack is a nervous person. It's so easy to make him angry. Polite. Polite. Polite means a person who is always says thank you and please. So a very good person. So I could say, Jackson is a polite boy. He always says please and thank you. Shy, shy, shy is basically means a person who likes to stay alone. He doesn't like to talk to many people and always finds problems to talking with people. So his cheeks go red. The next adjective is easygoing. Easygoing means a person who is easy to talk to and to deal with so a person who finds everything easy basically so i could say omar is an easygoing guy we all like to talk with him brave brave means a person who isn't scared of anything a brave guy so i could say muhammad is a brave person He's not scared of anything. And our next adjective is coward. Coward. Coward is the opposite of brave. And coward means that a person is always scared. So I could say Elliot is a coward boy. He's even scared of cats.
our next adjective is chatty, talkative. Chatty talkative means a person who always talks and speaks and never shuts up. He's always talking. So I could say, Jack is a talkative person. We always tell him to shut up. Lazy, inactive. Basically, there's a common phrase in English. It's called lazy cat. You're a lazy cat. So a lazy is a person who doesn't like to do anything, just wants to sleep all day. So I could say, uh, Liam is a lazy guy. He's always sleeping. Grumpy. Grumpy is a person who is always angry. So I could say, Wu is a grumpy man. Our boss, he never smiles. Moody. Moody means that one one minute a person is sad and then suddenly another minute he's happy. So when we say a moody person means he changed emotion quickly. So I could say Lee is a moody guy. One minute he's sad and another minute he's happy. Neat. Neat means a person who is always tidy and clean. She is a neat woman. Her house is always clean and tidy. Popular. Popular is like similar to famous. But a popular guy means he has a lot of friends. So I could say, Ali is a popular guy. He has so many friends in our university. Selfish, selfish. Selfish means a person who only thinks about himself. He doesn't care about anyone. So I could say, Mo is a selfish guy. He only cares about himself and never cares about anyone else. Smart, clever. This means a person has a really big brain, so he always gets high grades. I could say, Al is a clever guy. He's the top student in my class. He always get good results. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Thank you so, so much. Um, I hope you like my video, but before you go, please do subscribe and like and share the video. Thanks a lot.